up a lot, cuz, on Crip. My granny been trying to get me to come to church for a minute, cuz. So today I go, cuz. Pastors say, cuz, first timers come up here and get your life to the Lord, cuz. So I did, cuz. I've been living a life of sin. So as soon as I came up, pastors say, all right, it's time to lay hands, cuz. And when he said that, cuz, my fist got tight, cuz. Cuz that's not like a, that's not like a pack out to me, cuz, in my defense. So when the deacon came towards me, cuz, I gave him what he wanted, cuz, I knocked his out, cuz, on Crip. And I didn't give a that he was 82, cuz, I feel threatened, cuz, I laid his out on Crip. Next thing you know, cuz, ushers and more deacons came off, cuz, it looked like a Royal Rumble, cuz. It looked like a put on to me, cuz. So I got in that, start dancing, cuz. I'm talking about Ali footwork, cuz. Cuz I'm always ready, cuz. Ain't nobody about to catch one up on me, cuz, especially at the church house, cuz. It's just up, cuz now my granny gotta find another church home, cuz. All about a misunderstanding, cuz. I would've said, pray for you. Let me anoint your head, cuz. I would've understood, cuz. Don't just talk in front of your church like you don't lay hands on me, cuz. I'm a crip. That's what's up, Mickey. A crip out in California, to be exact, man. And I put that there because I wanted y'all to better understand exactly who it is that he's talking about in these certain clips that I'm finna drop on y'all. Now, Bosco, you know, went in on this man and whatnot. Didn't hold back any punches. Y'all know how Bosco get when there's any allegations out on somebody's name like this. He gonna gas him. He gonna drag him. Rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? When you say you're a part of something and then, you know, you get to doing extracurricular stuff like this, playing with other man's Johnsons and whatnot. Let me keep it PG-13. But you say you a crip, man. So that means whatever you do, you're saying the crips do as well. You're saying you are a crip. You are a crip. So whatever you do represents the crips. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, you making your own hood. You making all your boys and everybody look bad, bro. And that's obviously, we know that's going to be a DP. They're going to take this man off. You know what I'm saying? Forget a DP. I don't even know why I said that. Yeah, he got to get took off. But, bro, you still on there doing videos, being extra out, you know, throwing up crip and whatnot. But he ain't the only person we got to talk about. So let me introduce it all. We also got to talk about my boy JT, the bigger figure, because he spoke on the night that he got hit up. You know what I'm saying? And everything that, that went down with that, let it be known that it was people he knew who did that to him. We also got to speak on Brick Baby, man, because he has a huge announcement to make involving no jumper and whatnot. So, you know, just a bunch of different things going on coming out of California, man. Uh, but like this one right here is by far the most crazy one, man. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. If you don't turn post notifications on all, you will not be notified every time we drop a video. Now, you definitely want to lock into the channel, man. We got all these carbon copy bloggers, man, who sit up and just copy everything that we do. You know what I'm saying? They're a bunch of little broads, man, with no flavor, no originality, none of that. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't doing no tripping. We just gonna keep going with our move. You feel me? But on the cool, man, like I said, this man was doing some more extra out stuff and involving the Crips in it. And Bosco got on his head about it. Check this out. Now, Bosco might have put up that song to that man's dance, man. I don't know, man, but it, it looked real suspicious, man. That man was saying, throw that boy cat. That, that was extra out. But if y'all don't know, man, this man been accused of topping another man's Johnson. You know what I'm saying? It said that he got caught in 4K topping another man's Johnson. Now, I ain't seen the video, and I ain't going to look for no video of this man topping no other man's Johnson. Don't want to see that. But uh, like I said, that's the allegations against him. So he popped out and said this, instead of trying to make fun of me for clout, maybe you should pray for me and see if a dude is okay. Y'all don't know where my head is at mentally and the thoughts I have with the skull and bones. And like a lot of people in, in skull comment section was like, man, we know where your head is at between another man's legs. And they, they was on this man top. Skull got on his head as well, man. Y'all check out what he had to say. Check on you. You all right? You gripped that like that nitty you had a strong grip on that mother you scrape stay fucking black <laughs> crazy crazy right man that man bosco on that man's top though 
But I mean, you know, it's a crazy subject, man. It's a lot of dudes out here who be doing this, man. Hey, but all I say is when it comes down to it being one of your homeboys, keep that same energy. Don't hold back. Keep it 100. Go win on them as well. You know what I'm saying? But then, man, we got that man Brick, baby, as he makes a huge announcement about being on No Jumper. Y'all check this out. So who y'all want me to interview on No Jumper? I'm six up. Uh, leave a DM. Let me know. Reply to this story. Anybody y'all want to see? I'm asking the questions now. Oh, the dead of you. So whoever y'all want me to interview, I'm interrogating. I'm six up. Uh, any with, with snitch allegations, anything. Tell to pull up to no jumper on Monday, man. We go get it in. And just to clear up one more thing. All you out of town bloods or in town bloods on six so that do this on six so you in town know what you're doing. So that's just how we play at LA. I ain't got nothing to say with y'all. But you copycat doing this and all that and throwing up ends like that's the only crib game. Bro, on 6 0, come to LA and do this. On the dead homies. You gonna have problems stacking out here. You out of town just doing whatever y'all see on TV. On the dead homies. Walk you down over putting them thumbs down. On 6 0. On 6 0. On times 10, period. 6 0. Jefferson all the way up. Adams all the way up. It's rolling. Dead homies to the 190. Six, so you know how we coming. All that disrespectful start playing with y'all like that. Yeah, that little line, man, that he said with the snitching allegations and whatnot. Yeah, I think that was definitely a jab at Cowboy, man. Nah, he was he was definitely going at Cowboy with that one. You know what I'm saying? Taking a little jabs, he's saying he'll even get him on there. Yeah, that probably will be a mistake for you, though, bro. But next up, man, and last but not least, man, we got that man JT the bigger figure. As JT the bigger figure, man, put this message out. It says, this is a message for the streets. Prayers got me through before the bullets start flying. Allah got my prayer. Then I had to stand on business. I signed up for the streets. Stuff I know what comes with it. Dudes will try to backdoor you. I made my mind up, ain't going. Thank you, Allah, for blessing me to stand my ground and you removed all fear from me. I'll repeat to everyone else who got hit the same day and didn't make it. Robbery is an occupation by a lot of guys, but everybody not going to agree. I'm one of them. Now, as y'all see, man, uh, he posted the pic right here, man, with uh, him in the hospital and whatnot. He also posted, you know, the uh, the gunshot wounds, his surgery wounds, man. Hey, it was ugly, man. But, you know, due to YouTube purposes, man, I can't post that on here, man. It is highly graphic. But, yeah, man, some 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 stuff that needed to be said. It's the information that a lot of young dudes in the streets need to hear. That's what he given to you in this one. And letting it be known that dudes that he took care of is the ones who backdoored him. Y'all got to really listen to JT, man, because he be feeding game. A lot of y'all think he crazy, but he not, man. He really be giving game, but he give it on a level that a lot of uh, ignorant, young, you know, ignorant minded dudes can't understand. Just check him out. Nigga, make sure, nigga, you got life insurance for all you shooters, all you drive-by shooters, all you walk them down shooters, all that shit. Listen, man, yeah, it's fun when you shooting, but when your ass get shot, will you survive the first bullets to hit your body? Will you get lucky and get a leg shot? Maybe an arm shot. Maybe an elbow shot. Maybe you get hit in the foot. Will it be a headshot? Will it hit your spine and make you cripple? Will it hit your head, nigga, and make you a vegetable? We just don't know. We don't know. But when we live by it, we die by it. Nigga, that's just how it go. That is the politics until you get off the field. When you make it off the field, you leave that shit behind. But as long as you're on the field and you're having fun, you're doing shooting and all that, nigga, Take your bullets like a man. Take your bullets like a man. When the police was like, tell us who did it, tell us who did it for your family, because they thought I was going to die right there or something. I'm like, nigga, boy, listen. My name don't come up on no paperwork, nigga. And the game is, catch your mans later. 
Nigga do it to you, do it back to him. Don't shoot his, his partner or the innocent nigga. You gonna put extra blood on your hands and on your boots. Catch a man's. Cause it's fair. You know what I mean? Nigga shoot you, you got the right to shoot him back. Fuck the police, fuck whoever saying something about it, but don't go to jail trying to shoot the nigga. Be smart. Let time go by. You never seen me post them niggas pictures. I got all them niggas pictures. I know exactly who pulled the trigger. I know who said, sent them. It was a robbery, nigga, rob them, rob them, rob them. Nigga, I'm not getting robbed by no niggas I know now. If I didn't know them niggas, I would've gave that shit up. So that's the other part to the story about when it comes to robbery. Nigga that I know, I'm not giving up nothing. Some niggas I don't know, huh, man, you got me down bad. Simple as that. But some niggas I done fed and looked out for, and today now you wanna try to rob me? Nah, that ain't the way this shit go. Some of us ain't going. That's just it. But to you shooters, though, you having fun and all that shit. You niggas be getting shot calling the police. You niggas be getting shot doing all type of other shit, bro. I'm not even a gangster and I'm not no tough nigga. I just stand on Phil Mo Business and I stand on JT Business first and foremost, then Phil Mo Business. Cause that's what I represent. Then the bank, then Frisco, then California. So my story is an ill ass story and I was making a movie right when I got shot. I was filming back before. I was filming all the way up to when I got shot. When I could move a little bit better, I got my camera start filming in the fucking hospital. Fuck it, just going in the movie too. Got out the hospital, kept filming. You can watch the movie, it's called Dirt On My Boots, part four, assassination attempt. You can see my whole surgery, all the shit. That's how you know I'm an ill-ass filmmaker. I'm a dedicated businessman. I'm a dedicated visionary. I'm a dedicated man. Standing on man business, fuck the streets, fuck the tough shit. When you're in the streets, you just gotta know how it's gonna go. That this is something that can happen. So people be like, oh, you a good nigga, you this and that. Nah, it ain't about I'm a good nigga. No, if you in the fucking field, it's, it's anybody can get it. So don't look at my pictures and feel bad for me. I'm happy I'm alive. I can walk. I can still have babies, nigga. I'm in my right mind. I'm feeling good. Nah, this shit come with it, bro. I'm just thankful I live to talk about it and, and, and be able to tell the next nigga, look, bro. I mean, we all know about that shit anyway, but you don't know about it till you can feel them. Now I can say I know what it feel like with a bullet going through your body, going through your legs, nigga. I know what it feel like now. So it ain't no more wondering. That's why when I start, when I got the hospital, yeah, I had me some fun putting some niggas in the hospital. Ain't nobody died. It's not no gang shit, and I don't have no co-defendants. But it felt good to put somebody in the hospital too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, you know. You know, most niggas get killed for that fucking backdoor shit and that robberies and doing shit. Then a nigga catch their ass later at the club, gas that you know how this shit go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but my message, this ain't about being tough, this about surviving, guys. And let me add this in there like I always have if you watch my lives from the past. If you get shot or your friend or your homie or somebody you with get shot. And they blood leaving their body. Their tongue is going to start turning white. The spit from the blood leaving is going to start drying up. The throat going to start getting dry and they're going to ask for some water. Do not give the person no water. If they got shot and they blood leaving their body, you're going to put them in shock. And they'll die before the ambulance get there. I don't care if that nigga saying, bro, just give me a cup. Just give me a little drop. Do not give nobody who got shot no fucking water, soda, juice, a piece of candy, nothing. Let them get to the hospital. Keep them calm. Tell the person, don't be moving around a lot. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. These are things that help me survive. Even though I kept saying, give me some water. They said, if we would have gave you water, you would have went, went in shock within 30 seconds to a minute and then been out of here. Heart attack, you gone. You went into shock. You're already losing blood. Now we gave you this water, which is not supposed to go into your system. You gotta wait till you get to the hospital, all right? RIP to the little homie brother who got shot and he was asking for water and little bro gave him some water. He said he was fine till he drunk the water. Once he drunk the water, he started going into shock and died before the ambulance got there. Don't feel bad, little bro. It's not your fault. But he heard my story telling people don't do it. And he said, man, my brother was fine until I gave him the water. This is my uh, 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 info for some people 
Because it's a war going on. So you can say, oh, I ain't never getting shot. Oh, no, ain't none of that going to happen. Cool. With it. God bless you. But for those who know, remember JTC, don't breathe in your mouth going, <gasps> you making your blood leave faster. Breathe in your nose and take long breaths like this. If you do this, you can slow your heart rate, slow the blood from skeeting out. Cause my shit was going skeet, skeet. Yeah, so, but long as I kept going. Shout out to my homie taught me that. Uh, 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 uh. The real hunter. He got shot seven, eight times. And, it, 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 yeah, he taught me that. So that's why I always like to tell that so people can learn how to survive. Cause there's a war going on. So y'all be safe, man. But all you shooters. Start looking for another occupation because what we'll go around, come around. That's just how it go. Win today, lose tomorrow. All right? That's my word for the day.